Hey people, Indra here, 3v3, Faction War, this is Nocturne Inferno and Chaos Space Marines vs Space Marines. Blue Chaos fellas, we have Czechist 417 with a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero, walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee. Alpha Legion elite scheme here. Alongside Maragnarok, he's a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. Some Black Legion here, you gonna Doom Bolt something? Nope, they were behind cover. Round off the team here is Andreas with a Plague Champion. Starts off with a damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support, can also repair more Alpha Legion Elite Scheme here. For the Red Space Marine fellas, where's he gone? There he is. Smooth Operator is a Force Commander. Very strong offense fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support. Alongside Song's Apothecary, support hero fighting in melee by default, begins with a heal and a passive health, regeneration aura, the Salamander's elite scheme here I think, maybe recolored a bit? Rounding off the teams, Kill Jester is a tech marine, starts off with a bolt gun, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair, the Dark Angels DLC there. This is the south, contested VP is right in the middle of the map and the natural VPs are both on the north. So these southern players are fighting over power and stuff a lot of the time. At least at the start of the game. Got some corn worship. Chaos Lord's taking a bunch of bolts quite already. CSM are also quite low. I'm not sure how they took, took so many shots. What was going on? Was the Chaos Lord busy capping something? Maybe they were capping the VP or something. He's still in play though, the Chaos Lord. I'm gonna try and get a cheeky cap on that contested power. Now the heretics are pushing. They die easily, but there's quite a lot of them to shoot through. There's a Doom Blast on the Tech Marine. Not a great use of a Doom Blast, I don't think. And those guys really shouldn't have Doom Blasted. They go down on retreat. More Doom Blasting. That one is alright, because it suppressed the Tactical Marines as well. Shotgun Scouts come in and clean up. CSM need to leave now, I think. Although the attacks are quite low, there's Kraken Bolts though, 20% damage to Heavy Infantry, which is what kind of your Space Marines are. Scouts going into some Taekwondo melee and forces them off. Back towards the north, Chaos pushing through, Doom Bolts flying in, did some good work on those attacks. Heretics on them with Aspiring Champion, consumed one of them to get his energy back there, the Sorcerer. There's a Doom Blast, they get one of the Tactical Marines down. But the carry is not happy, he must have used his heal already, you can see his energy is quite low. But he's used the heal, probably used it in that fight actually, he wasn't just paying, just wasn't paying attention. Smooth operator of double tacks as well. Can they get the apothecary? They can. And we get a sync kill off the aspiring champion there. Just a chainsaw through the sternum. Some dead heretics on the northern edge. Contested wreck point turning red. Bunch of fire and brimstone around. Typically chaotic map I think. Scouts, I went for the decap and found some Havocs with a heavy bolter down here. No attempt to go to the mid, I don't think. Gonna get easily revived here, the Apothecary, thanks to Kill Jester coming over. And it'll get them to level 2. Got a bunch of XP killing heretics and stuff. Speaking of killing heretics, these guys are falling over dead. That is the Sigil of the Rift and the Warp Rift ability. But attacks have spotted it and backed off. Apothecary is back to his feet. Heals himself and gets right back out there. Shotgun scouts here are songs. Oh, Smooth Operator drops their scouts. A lot of damage on the Force Commander as well. See the dead scouts right here. Tons of dead heretics too. Not sure what these guys are trying to do here. There's double attacks and the Force Commander. They're trying to kill the Force Commander. Can the Plague Champion get it done with his bolt gun? Needs to stop moving, I think, and shoot to get full accuracy. Might be able to do it. It's going to get him very low. One hit point gets it. With the damage of a time, Nurgle Stink gets it done. Force Commander is trying to get a power sword up. Plague Champion is getting his own power sword of sorts. The Plague Sword in play. This is going to be bad news very quickly for these tactical marines. This sword completely ignores melee resistance. As far as I'm aware, the only melee weapon that does that very cool. Also creates zombies if you kill something with it. A bunch of heretics flying in for Andreas. Lost some heretics, but just got three more up. Why not? Aspiring champion on two of them as well. You might see the 
Mucus Discharge or something for the Plague Champion to help him stay alive with that sword in melee. Smooth Operator gets us on Devastators to help control all those heretics. Might want to get Shotgun Scouts as well, to be honest. TSM taking some light cover around these methane vents or whatever it is. Devastators coming up for Song, trying to hold this northern central area. There's a contested power here. It's got two Chaos Gens on it, actually. There you see the natural VP for Chaos, and here's the natural VP for Space Marines. Pretty damn close together, as you can see. There's Warp Rift again, displacing those Devastators. Chaos Sorcerer shenanigans. Oh, they just went back inside of it again. You need to stop the Rift once you teleport what you want and start poking them with your sword, Mr. Sorcerer. Are they getting stuck in? Gonna die again, I think. Really likes to brawl, it seems, Song, but they haven't got the Sanguine Chainsword up to help them do that. Heretics Doom Blast and Run. More heretics to take their place, of course. Plague Sword is in full force, almost level 2, the Plague Champion. What's going on, Sal? Stuff is dying, stuff is dying, stuff is leveling up as well. Chaos Lord in on the Tech Marine. Level 4 Tech Marine, holy crap. Lots of heretics have died. Chekist goes tier 2, as does Maragnarok and Song as well. Assault squad here for Kill Jester. Chaos Lord backs off, has a word, with his CSM buddies. Space Marines nodding up this power in the south. Back towards the north. Some sneaky Zinchian worship. Two heretic squads worshipping, so they're infiltrating each other. Can't see a thing, mate. Plague Champion here, fetid armor on the way. And the Doom Blast scares off all the Marines. Devastator's getting caught out of position. Force Commander still down, by the way. Smooth Operator, yeah, bemoaning the parting there. He needed to take a wider angle. Gotta be careful of getting around corners too tight in Dawn of War 2. Bunch of tier 2s popping up. Smooth Operator will be the last player to go. They're not uh, floating, though. What's going on on the contested VP? Chaos Lords in amongst some Marines. Goes after the Scouts rather than tying up the tacks. I guess the Scouts are getting low, but he does get on the Tactical Marines now. Heretics flee. That's another eight Heretics dead around here. Only the Aspiring Champion gets away. CSM getting messed up, losing a model. Tacks popping their Kraken Bolts. Which does affect melee attacks. They lost two models, those CSM. Check is dropping tons of models here in these fights. Blood letters on the way for Maragnarok. What's this? There's chaos pushing through. There's lots of doom blasting heretics everywhere. Plague Champions already run off. Level 2. Dreadnought on the way for Czechist. Tier 2's falling in for everyone now. Smooth Operator just went. Tax did survive. Need some reinforcements and stuff. What's going on north here? Stealing power with two gens on it. Are these scouts 400 to 226 on the VPs? Here are the blood letters teleporting demon fellas with power melee hellblades. Really painful for heavy infantry such as marines. What are you trying to? Oh, displacing some scouts. Heretics on them too. Are they really not going to drop a model from that? Blood letters trying to get on them. They got one. 33 hit points on two models. Lucky, lucky scout fellas. Take some cover, Marines. Nope, okay. Get warp rifted. Blood letters on them. How quickly Devastators die under blood letter attacks. Shotgun blast knocks down the blood letters but does not suppress them. They're demons. You can't suppress them. Sorcerer, it's a good place for a Doom Bolt, buddy. All those four attacks in a line. Assault squad here for Kill Jester. Getting some good chopping done. On the CSM, CSM getting an Aspiring Champion, and they already have the Marco Zinch or awesome Inferno Bolts on their Bolt Guns. We've got some Marco Corn CSM too. Bit rarer to see these guys, especially in a 3v3 where melee can get dunked on. It's not properly supported, and it can be tough to support it with Chaos. Heretics die in droves, not always easy to get them in a good offensive worshipping position to support Marco Corn CSM. Good kill the week. Smacks back two of the Space Marine heroes. 
Pet Marine level 6, you know. Got the axe now. Bionics and refractor fields. They've gone for a full melee build with that shield as well. Bloodletters teleporting in. Chopping stuff up. Heretics run away and level. Bloodletters were down on model, so they've run off as well. Here's the Chaos Dreadnought as an auto cannon by default. Good damage to all tar targets with a small area of effect and that big old claw too. Space Marine Dreadnought shows up. Got a standard on this model, I like that. Starts off as a melee, and that's a really good special from the Sorcerer there. Marco Zinchfeller's getting suppressed. Here comes a Dreadnought. Sorcerer cannot fight this. One more hit would have killed him. Triple cap here for Chaos, by the way. Devastator's on the way to kill Jess, and the Sorcerer does go down. Was trying to infiltrate him with the Heretics there, just couldn't quite get there in time. Plasma Cannon, ouch. Force Commander with a special attack is level 3. Popping the battle cry as a sacred standard, artificer armor, and the power sword. Power sword, I'd like to point out, that used to have a plasma pistol with it. But because the plasma pistol sucked so much, instead of buffing it, they just gave him a bolt pistol instead, which I found very strange. But yeah, he's got one of those awesome 16 DPS bolt pistols. Take champ is lucky to have a 13 DPS plasma pistol. Plasma cannon. Full hit on the heavy bolter turret there. Is that double plasma marines? No, single plasma gun marines. The other ones don't have a specialized weapon yet. Just full frontal attacks we've seen from Andreas with all these heretics and this plague sword. Popping the unholy stench to suppress the crap out of this stuff. Gets in on the devastators too. Needed to retarget that onto the plague champion, I think. And they're on the power. It's a very strange place to put the power, right on the corner like that. Back towards the contested VP. Tech Marine levels to eight. Bloody hell. He's having a grand old time. Defeating heretics left and right. Fighting bloodletters are doing a good job here. There's some Zinchin worship. Worship of any kind greatly benefits demons by boosting health and energy regen. And of course you do get the infiltration as well from Zinchin worship. But he just killed the heretics. So no more worship for you fellas. Ragnarok with some more heretics on the way. We've got tier 3 for Andreas. Chaos doing really well on VPs, but a little bit shaky in their armies. Got some Stern Guard veterans for Song with this weird, pretty cool army scheme these guys have with these Salamanders elite scheme. Apparently, it was found in an old Codex Astartes background book by whichever modder created it. I don't know who it was. And they put it in. Which is awesome. Mark of Zinch, Chaos Dreadnought here. For Maragnarok, Czechist with no upgrade. Or no mark, rather. More Devastators this time for Song. Is the Plasma Cannon going to go mid? No, it's covering, the, it's covering the north. Oh, they killed the Plague Champion. They got him down. The big melee blob of Andreas now goes mid. And they are tier 3. And they have the red for Terminators. Just need a bunch more power. Force Commander getting stuck in. Sword makes the battle cry more effective. And you've got Sacred Standard for constant buffs as well. But that is backing off. We've got an Assault Cannon Dreadnought. The song. One to one cap. Can Chaos see this out? Someone just died in the mid. It was the Chaos Lord. Tech Marine continues to boss things. Level 9 now, this fella. Are you going to throw the Melter Bomb, fellas? I guess not. Assault Squad do have a Melter Bomb. The Dreadnought would be the target for you. Oh, look at this. But that Chaos Dreadnought barely getting away. Maybe they used their Melter Bomb. Oh, it's a Laz Cannon getting shots as well. No, they, they seem to be full on energy. Ish. And they haven't, I haven't seen them use the Melter. They shouldn't have let that Dreadnought get away. They should have just melleeed it down, I think. CSM barely getting out. Why did you jump away, guys? Why did you jump away? Could have wiped them. Could have wiped the Dreadnought. Could have wiped those guys. A Ragnarok. I don't know what you did. Oh, the Sorcerer's died, I guess. Chaos Dreadnought of Ragnarok might go down. Stern Guard should be using Vengeance Rounds. There we go. They're switching. There it is. Vengeance Rounds loaded in to do damage to vehicles. Sorcerer can't, can't warp it away because his body's right there. 
and the warp takes you to the sorcerer's location. Yeah, chaos or reeling here. 337 to 28. The comeback is on for the Space Marines. Yeah, the power up here is right on the corner too. A little bit awkward. Need to get onto the... Uh, need to push for a triple, I think, Space Marine fellas. Completely open here. You've got scouts to get on it quickly. But they're not doing it. Could be a big mistake not to put pressure on that VP. At least get a, at least get a decap. Apothecary gets revived. Force Quan is level 4. Apothecary level 2. No war gear for this guy. Yet. And at level 9 Tech Marine. Kicking some ass. Maybe a heal from the Apothecary? Nope. He's leaving now. Chaos trying to get on the mid. Don't need a 2 to 1 for very long. But can they get one? Last Cannon can't really do much to this infantry. Blood Letters are on capping duty here. There's more Blood Letters in the mid. Checkist and Maragna Rock have some here kicking off. Here comes the Chaos Lord with Lightning Claws. Harness of Rage and Dark Halo. Good synergy between those pieces of war gear. Harness of Rage feeds energy into the Dark Halo. Those scouts barely got away. And he's supporting the Blood Letters with the energy as well from Harness of Rage. A nuke. Imperial Abyss from Andreas. It's a pretty good one. Gets rid of a bunch of stuff, but look at that. Venerable Dreadnought dropped in the back lines from Kill Jester. And another call in. Terminators of some kind. Assault Terminators from Smooth Operator. That's a response there to the nuke. Hell of a response. Both of those units are unique to their commanders. The Venerable Dreadnought for the Tech Marine. Assault Terminators for the Force Commander. Pretty damn powerful too. They couldn't get on the VP. Can they punch through this now? With Dreadnoughts and Terminators and a level 10 Tech Marine kicking ass. Pothecary is level 3, so his heal is getting more powerful. And a level 5 Force Commander buffing all the infantry constantly with a Sacred Standard. Can they punch through anywhere? They're still not going with a natural VP though. They should be on that, surely. Just run a hero on it or something. Or some scouts. Apothecary going for armor of the Apothecary. And my Ragnarok goes tier 3. Czechist, the last player in tier 2. My Ragnarok, close to a nuke of their own once they get there. Use this. Apothecary is grabbing the wreck point, but not decapping the VP, eh? They like to live on the edge. Here's a Land Raider Phobos from Andreas. Big old Laz Cannons on it. Twin Link Heavy Bolter and a Storm Bolter on top as well. Or Combi Bolter, I think they call them, didn't they? There it is. Up here. Is it going to help, though? Oh, they got Lightning Claws on the Terminators. That's one less thing. The Phobos needs to worry a huge amount about. No more big old hammers. Stone Guard Veterans to go after it. Sanguine Chainsword in for the Apothecary and improved medical equipment. 213 to 28. What are the Chaos fellas going to do here? Are they going to work together? Not really. They're just going in. Blood Letters pressuring the back lines. Venerable Dreadnought pushing back. Goes after the Chaos Dreadnought. Lightning Claw Terminator is going after the Sorcerer. Actually got went through a sigil there of the rift thing I don't think they're taking his VP back anytime soon, Lascan is getting shots though on the Vendred Phobos coming in from a weird angle taking big shots actually Plasma Cannon and Missile onto shots I think, Chaos Dread goes down big inspiration and kill there from the Venerable Dreadnought goes, tier, goes level 2 as well no Dark Age on it yet Getting some global repairs though from Blessing of the Omnissiah. 179 to 28. Still the 2 to 1 for Space Marines. Chaos need a good nuke, I think, to punch through. There are big groups of Marines they could maybe get. Czechist isn't getting tier 3 anytime soon though. They're wreck starved. Losing blood letters in every fight. 
Here comes the plague champion, he's level 2. Needs to get in there, needs to pop the unholy stench or something. Oh, they used it a bit early, I think. Could have got more from the marines in it. Phobos with the dirge casters helping out. Down goes the plague champion, he can't fight right thing for terminators. I mean, very few things can. Very few infantry things can, anyway. Phobos backing the hell off. You're gonna get on the VP, lads. Terminators, maybe you're doing it. There we go. Finally gonna get a decap. CSM, oh wow, level 4 Marco Zink CSM, they're pumping out a lot of damage. But they need to move away from Scary Assault Cannon. There's advanced healing from the Apothecary. Terminators give up the cat, apparently. And these Havocs getting caught. And they go down. And they're not capping over there. Chaos Terminators coming in. And look at this. From a Ragnarok Sorcerer. Got a decap. Level 4. Using vestments of the warp to get around these days. Chaos Terminators with combi, combi bolters and power fists. Smacking around some tactical marines. Level 4 with a plasma gun. But here come the lightning claws of the assault terminators. Oh look, they've got some of their own, the chaos fellas. What are they going to go after though? They're taking a bunch of damage here. Plasma attacks. Dealing out pain. Vengeance round stern guard as well. Who died? Sorcerer died over there. Land Raiders back. Big champion is trying to repair it. Chaos Terminator is almost dead. 94 to 28. There's the double cap for Chaos. Go for the Space Marines, I mean. Looks like they have. Looks like they have conceded. Space Marines take it. They just lost too much. Like midway through Tier 2 Chaos. They couldn't recover. But they gave it a good old go. Kill Jester was very strong in the south. Got so many kills with the Tech Marine. Czechist was a little bit haphazard with his units. Made a level 3 Chaos Lord, level 4 Sorcerer, level 2 Plague Champion, level 6 Force Commander, level 4 Apothecary, and at level 10 Tech Marine alongside his venerable Dreadnought there. Awesome to see. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to these players for playing a faction war. No idea who sent this in, but thank you for that. I'll see you next time.